All right, this is the beginning of the second video on the kneeboard where we're going to do the top side. And we got the grid kind of laid out here. Got it up there. Pattern's already done, it's already back masked. I uh, just got to make sure when I go to spray that all the corners are down nice and tight as I go through it. But uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is start taping up the geometric patterns on the flake. And uh, I'm going to get right into it. All right, I got the phone here with the picture so I can replicate the style, at least, of the, the geometric patterns. So I'm going to just get into taping this stuff here. This is the fun part, but it's, uh, it could be a little uh, time consuming. But we're going to get into it and just kind of get through the motions here. Um, we're just going to kind of split the middle. I just tape these and one of the hardest parts trying to be symmetrical about it is uh, right and left I don't get it exactly perfect but I get it nice and I'm just kind of rolling that tape and I'm going right to the indicator lines on the side I should probably get a knife but I don't got one not handy I want to get right through this whole portion just kind of showing you how I do it again there's no right and wrong as long as the end result is good. Yeah, it's a little bit farther. Get this taped up. And you know, between uh, your right and left hand, whatever handed you are, one of them is going to be a little bit quicker than the other. That there. Let's keep looking at that. Let's start this line to third line down. I was just kind of eyeing it out to keep it even. You don't want to put a lot of tension on this tape because it'll pull it up, especially when you're dealing with the, uh, you know, not flat surfaces. So I'm getting that a little bit right there. Watch my corners there. Let me get this a little bit fatter. And that's that for that. It's just kind of a showing you how I do it. And uh, I'm going to kind of get on through this job. Uh, I'm very happy with the, the layout up top. So I think uh, next time you see it, I'll have all this taped up. All right, back to the kneeboard project. We got some uh, little, little containers of the SG100 Interco Clear that we're going to mix these candies into. I'm using Spanish gold and tangerine, apple red and purple. And we're going to get it on the knee board here. We're going to start out with the lightest first. That's the way I do it. And uh, we're going to get this in and then go through the motions down the side, get all the colors on. So uh, that's where we're at. 
going to soften up this line here with the Spanish gold. Doing a terrible job. I'm gonna shoot these here. All right, layering this on and doing the yellow. I've just been having a headache trying to film and do this at the same time. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Sometimes these things aren't as easy as they should be. But we're just going to get into it. And I already can feel the problems with the paint gun. So, yeah, it's not so terrible. Just blowing everything everywhere. Try to get that on there nice and good. I don't want to get too wet and start running it. There's another, I think I've got this all grouped up. Alright, I'm going to quit filming for a little bit and just get this first uh, round of color on. Got the yellow down. I don't know what my issue was. I just couldn't seem to get it going on. There was like a cloud of negativity happening but the uh, orange is going on that's looking pretty good we're just going to go ahead and shoot this real quick and uh this way you can see the process and how i do it using the full size paint gun just getting the volume down let that Dry up on that side and I'll come over here. And then come back over here, fill out the volume of the color, get that a little bit richer. And I'll keep going through that all the way up and I'll get some more video here in a short bit as it gets more filled out the next color. Alright, got the candy tangerine on. Got the full on candy corn effect going down. You can see how this is starting to come out. It's coming out pretty good. And the next phase is the red. <laughs> got the red on all that's left is the purple and it's starting to shape up pretty good after I get the candy done I'll pull all the geometric stripes in there and then the whole thing gets untaped again then I got a back tape over the candied flake portion and then the black will go on but before I spray the black I got to do the pinstriping the last color the purple we're going to just start getting this on, build it up. Slow this down just a little bit. Get up on that line there without turning everything completely purple. Uh, 
Jawohl. Got all the candy burple put down. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna start pulling the tape. So we get the, to the next phase. This is the kind of the fun part. We get to start seeing stuff happening. As I go through this, it's got to kind of be careful not to start yanking on this tape and pull a bunch of the paint they just put down up. We want to have nice, uh, clean lines the best that we can. But it's uh, starting to shape up. A little bit of work left on it. But, you know, no complaints at this point. Still happy with this job and uh started out rough today but that's okay got through it just got patient and do what i have to do but uh i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off all right people started taping out the pinstripe graphics just kind of going through this portion the green tape is going to stay flight and then i got to back tape all these it's gonna be quite a bit of work, but it's not a big deal. It's part of the part of the gig. It's how you get good looking work. This is, you got to do all the steps, and then uh, once you get that done, I uh, have it masked up, and then we'll get it sprayed black topside. All right, got the tape down for the flake uh, pinstripes, and that's how it's looking. Pretty happy with it. Got a little stuff going on up here so anyways I think we're good to go get the back taping done on the panels get them taped off and the black will be going on and then uh, borderline and clear all right here we have it we got the back taping all done next thing we're gonna do is make sure these edges are taped down my goodness look at that doesn't even want to hold. So uh, we're going to shoot the black next. And uh, obviously I'm going to check the edges because the tape doesn't seem to hold. I don't know if it's because of humidity or whatever. But we are going to get this done. All right, we got the little bit of black started. But we're just going to get this sprayed. Alright, we'll get this uh, untaped. Hopefully there's no big issues here. I don't pull any of the graphics up or any of that nonsense. That happens from time to time. And uh, can ruin your day. But yep, this is the fun part. This is when you really start to see everything developing. So I'm put that down on the floor. Get this piece here. This is the one I'm worried about. Because I already sort of had some issues over here. I didn't film it, but I just kind of fixed it, and uh, we're looking good. The contrast is exactly what I want, and uh, it makes this thing nice and bright. Oops, I got that tape coming up. This will go slow. And there's a little bit of silver right here, right at the end of that tip. That will get covered up with the border lining. That's when uh, I start fixing everything and really fine tune. It's kind of like building a house. You know, the framing and all that stuff is a rough cut. And then you get into the final trim and that's what people see. And that's where the finest work is done. You can think of it that way if you would. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and 
cut off the camera now and this way I can get my hands uh, just dealing with this and uh, when it's all done I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot the clear I'm not even going to show that uh, shoot the clear and uh, afterwards I'll show you the before it gets buffed and what it looks like people now here it is cleared out uh, forgive the mess in the background uh, this is the storage but uh, man does it look good just got to do the borderline and then reshoot to clear and then wet sand to buff this out and get it back together I got to put the pad on in the middle I got the brackets right here for the strap they're already painted done and uh, all in all this is looking really good and uh, we'll get some more video when it's all getting wrapped up